quick update uh, from um, uh, one of the universities, Rutgers University, a, a major U.S. university for in, in New Jersey. Uh, when when uh, after October 9th, Rutgers like uh, uh, October 7th, sorry, Rutgers like um, uh, many uh, U.S. universities experienced uh, uh, massive protests for Hamas in favor of the Palestinians. Um, and uh, the, the campus is, is, is facing, uh, you know, ongoing, growing uh, tensions. And uh, the university did not respond, like many of the other universities, it did not respond strongly and powerfully with moral certainty uh, when uh, these demonstrations were happening in the aftermath of October 7th. It didn't respond to the events of October 7th themselves uh, very harshly. This came under a huge amount of criticism uh, from certain faculty members and uh, several influential members of the business community, uh, donors, I assume, particularly particularly to the Rutgers Business School and the Rutgers Center, Rutgers Center for Real Estate. Um, and, uh, you know, these, these demonstrations have, uh, have continued. Uh, the uh, Jewish students at Rutgers have again expressed the fact that they have felt threatened and unsafe and the administration has done little. Uh, but, but they have come under a lot of pressure, like in many other universities. And um, uh, you know, mem faculty members have said that many business school faculty and staff are scared. Um, many are in, uh, in shock and, um, uh, and uh, uh, they feel threatened by the atmosphere uh, on uh, the university. Uh, as I think as a consequence of this, Rutgers, when was it? Yesterday, I think, um, finally came to the decision of suspending uh, students for justice in Palestine uh, for violating uh, university uh, policies. Uh, it, uh, it, the chapter has two days to appeal this. They are suspended uh, for an indefinite amount of time. It's not clear for how long. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, the, the, they noted that uh, the, uh, the chapter was responsible for disruptive and disorderly conduct, failure to comply with university directives, improper behavior by campus guests, and inappropriate use of space. I don't even know what that means. Uh, it referred to uh, uh, several students' complaints that members of the Student for Justice in Palestine have disrupted classes, have disrupted a program, meals, and students studying, and also noted allegations of uh, vandalism at the business school um, uh, that uh, were associated with, uh, with uh, SJP's um, activity. Um, the SPJ as well as other student groups, have called Hamas massacre of Jews in Israel justified and their actions against Jewish students on campus. Um, you know, the, 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 uh, the have, been, have moved beyond, this is what the administration is saying, beyond microaggressions, right? Whatever the hell that means. Uh, several other universities have done the same thing. Uh, uh, Brandeis University, George Washington University, Columbia University have also suspended um, uh, certain, uh, you know, anti-Zionist uh, and anti-Jewish uh, uh, groups out there. Um, and uh, it's going to be interesting to see when they allow them back in, under what terms, how this plays out. Is there going to be a backlash against this? Uh, and uh, but but some universities seem to be acting. Whether there's consistency, whether there's a vision, whether there's any kind of insight into what exactly, uh, w you know, what exactly should the university be, be doing, and uh, hard to tell. It still seems like haphazard, and uh, it motivated primarily by the level of pressure that is brought on particular administrations by primarily alumni. They're doing this not out of a set of beliefs, not out of a set of commitments, but more out of fear of losing uh, of losing money. I, I really, really, really urge alumni again to uh, consider whether they want to return to funding these universities, whether they want to return 
to, to, to providing these universities with money without a, a, a fundamental shift in their attitude, not just to these particular events and these particular student organizations, but their whole approach to, um, you know, uh, 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 who are oppressed groups, their whole DEI approach, their whole uh, uh, modern leftist approach to power and power relationships, their whole approach to um, what constitutes harassment and harassment of whom is justified and whom is not. Th th this is deep philosophical rot. Uh, I talked about this, uh, when was it? Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday, when I talked about uh, what's going on at the universities, this is deep philosophical rot. This is not going to be cleaned up by suspending a student organization here or there. This is not going to be cleaned up by a, a meek statement here or there. This is going to require some really bold action and a reversal of many of these universities' attitudes towards, uh, you know, towards speech, towards harassment, towards minority groups, towards hiring, towards admittance, uh, admittance of students. And in other words, it's going to require some kind of philosophical revolution, which I don't think any university is ready for, but which alumni, if they really care, that's what they need to advocate for. That's what they need to talk about. That's what they need to care about.